Days after the Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin and other Wagner officials died in a plane crash, a video has gone viral on social media where Prigozhin is seen addressing speculation about his well-being and possible threats to his security. Now, reports suggest the location of the video is Africa, and it was shot only days before his death. For those who are discussing whether I'm alive or not, how I'm doing right now, it's the weekend, second half of August 2023. I'm in Africa, so for people who like to discuss wiping me out, or my private life, how much I earn, or whatever else, everything's okay. Last week, the business jet of the Wagner chief, Yevgeny Pirogoshin, plummeted from the sky and crashed in a field halfway between Moscow and St. Petersburg. All 10 people on board the aircraft were killed. The crash raised several questions with few immediate answers. Was it a missile, a bomb aboard the aircraft or some other reason? The Kremlin said on Wednesday, in fact, that investigators were probing all possible scenarios, including premeditated murder. The Kremlin spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov, said officials are probing the incident and have not ruled out any cause for the crash, including foul play. The Kremlin has dismissed suggestions that it orchestrated the crash in revenge for Wagner's march on Moscow in June. And with us on the broadcast this minute is Sergej Samleni, defense expert and director at the European Resilience Initiative Center, joining us uh, from Berlin. Thanks very much for being here. How do you assess this latest uh, video that surfaced? And uh, this only adds to the series of question marks that have been doing the rounds ever since that plane crash occurred. Uh, hello, and thank you for having invited me today. Uh, indeed, this video has appeared recently and it raises several questions uh, if uh, Evgeny Prigozhin is alive or dead. And uh, we need also to add that the, the funeral of Prigozhin, uh, they also looked like a bit weird. Uh, there were uh, members of his family there, but on the, on the grave, uh, they have been installed uh, close to his like, photograph uh, from another side of the cross uh, they have installed on the, uh, on the grave. There was a verse by a uh, Russian Soviet poet Brodsky uh, with the uh, quote, uh, are you alive or are you dead? So that was also like some sort of um, some sort of uh, this town in the check saying, yeah, maybe he's alive. So the rumors that uh, Prigozhin has survived the crash or was not on board of the plane, they have appeared uh, directly after the crash itself. I personally doubt that uh, he is alive. And even in the video that it leaked, like he doesn't say literally that I have not died in a crash. He said that there are speculations about my liquidation, which can be interpreted as there are speculations about my future liquidation or about the plans to kill me. And he also says he doesn't name the date. He says it's a weekend on the second half of August. And so one of weekends on the second half of August is 19th, 20th of August, when Prigozhin could have been in Africa, but he allegedly died on the 23rd of August, so four days later. So there are a lot of rumors, yes, but we cannot be sure that this video indeed is as authentic as the video of Prigozhin after the crash. Right. Um also, when we talk about the future of Wagner, what do these developments and what does uh, the death of uh, Yevgeny Pirogoshin really mean on that front? Well, the Wagner group has been uh, decimated during the last week. So we know that the part of the uh, troops have been absorbed by the Russian army. They have been deprived of heavy equipment like tanks, infantry fight vehicles, artillery or attack helicopters and uh, they have been like practically dis disbanded and uh, of course there are like members from the core wagner group like the officers who served there for several years and they would love to like preserve their influence i think that uh, these videos and these rumors 
they could have uh, like spread from that or maybe uh, quite the opposite from those in FSB, in Putin loyal FSB, who wants to create this fake hope for a life Prigozhin and uh, with this fake hope expose those inside the Wagner group who could uh, try to, to uh, organize another mutiny and arrest them. We don't know, like there are too much, uh, too much room for speculation. But it is clear that the Wagner Group, in the form as we know it existed, like a strong, uni a strong unit with 20, 30,000 troops fighting in Ukraine, will never exist in the future. So, Gersh, we're leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us here on the broadcast. Thank you so much. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.